to the command ship. This is Sigma 7. Do you read over? Roger, I'll read you loud and clear. Standard ready to go home, Wally. Roger, Al, I've got, uh, I'm coming up on 30 seconds to go. I'll give you my light. Okay. I've got the five minute light on. This is the 30 second light. Five, four, three, two, one, light. There it is. I've got a light in the tone. Tone is out. Very good. The timing is right on, Wally. I'll count down to retro sequence and you'll arm the spoops at five. That's correct. Go, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 7, 3, 2, 1, sequence. Five sequence, and the uh, capsule's nice and tight. Got attitude green. She's sitting here just like a tight rock, Al. Right, your attitude look very good from here, Walt. Yeah, they look beautiful here, too. Oh, boy, she's a good little capsule. I'll clue you. Here you go. Roger. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. I got one, and she's holding real tight, very tight. I got two, the other two are right on the money. I got three. Emergency retro jettison gear switches on. Roger. They are on, the retro jet is on. Got sunlight, everybody's very happy. I'm going to fly by wire, Al, to pick up the re-entry attitude. Annual is going in. And we're showing you have about 68% auto and 84% manual fuel left. I think I read the most. I got 6, 8 auto and uh, 7, 8 manual. Heading by for retro jet. I have retro jet and light is green. I could hear it, by the way. Very good. We confirm retro, Jettison. Typically, one must talk about the nine hours of weightlessness. I don't believe I can recollect anything about weightlessness any more than Al Shepard could from the first time people asked him on it when he was briefing on his flight. To me, it felt like I was flying another vehicle just as if I were flying an airplane. Everything looks good. Got 55% auto fuel. Passing for 70,000 feet. 65,000. Attitudes are very stable. Coming up on 60. Big command doing very well. Coming up on 50. She looks like a sweetie. Coming up on 45,000. And down to about 1G. Preparing to punch the drogue at 40. 41. Punching drogue, and the drogue is out. You can hear I can't see her because of the clouds. Attitudes are holding well. And your lever is in. ISDS fuel is going pretty fast. I can see the drogue now. The drogue looks very good. I'm going to launch that to it. Actually, I don't need it. Big command is burning itself out. And the hot stamp is doing nothing, just sitting there. I'll put it in auto mode just to let it pump out. Roger, I'm coming down on 20,000, standing by for snorkel. And pressure is increasing. Snorkel should go. I believe snorkel is blue. I felt them. I will pull it anyway. I have an emergency rate. I think I. Let the snorkels a little bit on that one. I'm dumping H202. Switch fuse on. Standing by recovery arm is arm. Standing by for main shoot. All switches in proper position. And your fuel is almost all gone. There goes Drogue and main is out. It's, oh, she's out beautiful. Nice blue sky. Pain is de-reefed, and looks like a sweetie pie. I feel marvelous. This is a beautiful flight, wasn't it? I'm about ready to impact now. I'm just about on the wharf. OK. 
Okay, it's taken a while to write itself, but I think I've got the small end out of the water here. Oh, this is a sweet little bird. I just can't get over it. Hello, Astro. Hello, Astro. This is Swiss One. Primary heel, over. Hey, Roger, Swiss One. This is Astro. How are you today? Hi, oh, yeah, fine. I got you on the uh, first off. Give me a short count, please. Roger, a short count follows. One, two, three, four, five. Five, four, three, two, one. This is Astro Sigma 7. Very happy to be back in the Pacific Lake. Okay, yes, sir, the summer's in the water. Gotcha. Uh, howdy, fellas. Uh, do they know I'm all right? I assume I heard them knock on the capsule. Uh, yes, sir, this is a uh, swift pilot. The carrier is uh, about uh, three quarters of a mile. Closing. Okay, fine. I frankly would prefer to stay in and have a, uh, uh, the, a small boat come alongside and using your collar routine, of course, to support me, and having a ship pick up. Over. Uh, Roger, I understand you want ship small boats. We'll give them that word right away. Sigma 7 was dry as a bone. I was comfortable. I should say that the recovery forces had practiced. I knew that Captain Rankin had practiced with his crew to pick me up, and I decided I want to come aboard first class and did. We've extended our envelope now to nine hours. <coughs> I feel that some concern had been expressed in the past from incomplete reports from other sources that space sickness might be a problem. I am here to say that there was no problem at all. There was no break-off phenomena. There was no uneasiness. There was no queasiness. I felt great and would like to have continued for the balance of 12 more orbits. the dust and debris settled from the hatch departure, I stepped out on the number three elevator and requested permission to come aboard. This is a novel way for a carrier aviator to come aboard a carrier. I think the most exciting thing for me in the flight was to realize that I had proven and that the capsule itself had proven that we could go beyond three orbits. We had initially stated and felt very strongly even as far as the way the flight plan was worked out, that we would get enough information from the three orbits to justify the flight. The additional three orbits were frosting on the cake. I believe it's about that time that I said hallelujah, and that is when I was excited to realize that we had control of the systems, that we had good control of the, of the capsule, that I had good control of myself, that physiologically I was in good shape to continue, and we were on the way to six orbits. 